accusing an ex-flame for physical assault might be a spicy piece of news for the media. But for a woman who was at one time emotionally involved with the man and who knows being a public figure, her acquisitions might boomerang on her. It might have been a difficult step, but free presenter, the brave and the beautiful lass went ahead with her fight. After an almost successful film career and a lucrative business as a co-owner of the Zesty IPL team, Kings 11 Punjab, Preeti Zinta had little reason to wash her linen in public, unless it was absolutely necessary. Nearing 40 and single, Neswadia is not the first man in Preeti's life. Have a look at some of her most controversial and talked about affairs. Preeti dated the Bombay dying hair businessman Neswadia from 2005 to 2009. The relationship was often reported on by the media, with frequent speculation about an engagement or a breakup. Shekhar Kapoor's ex-wife Suchitra Krishnamurti alleged that she parted ways with Shekhar because of his affair with Zinta. Preeti vehemently denied it, stating, It is unfortunate that I'm bearing the burnt of someone else's paranoia. She's clearly unstable and I wish her a speedy recovery. Almost at the start of her career, Preeti Zinta was reported to be in an intimate relationship with model Mark Robinson. The two were reportedly in a living relationship, but broke off after a couple of years because of their hectic lifestyles. Last Kid Jelson There were rumours of Preeti's alleged affair with him. A couple of intimate pictures clicked in Hawaii, were believed to be the ground of his relationship. Vikram Chetwal, a leading daily, had reported that back in 2009, when Preeti Ness' relationship was warning, New York-based businessman and hotelier Vikram Chetwal had entered her life then. When Preeti's relation with Ness hit a rough patch, you the captain of a team, entered the scene. The intimate moments and talks they shared publicly was enough to prove that something was brewing between them. But for some reason, it soon fizzled out. What do you want to say about beautiful Preeti Zinta and her controversial love affairs? Sushmita Sen and her men After winning the Miss Universe contest, Sushmita became every filmmaker's eye candy and Mahesh Bhatt managed to get her for his film Dasta. Sushmita made her film debut and while shooting, she fell in love with filmmaker Vikram Bhatt who wrote the script of Dastak. After her breakup with Vikram Bhatt, Sushmita fell in love with hotelier Sanjay Naran. The duo was spotted together many a times and there was even a buzz about their engagement and marriage. But due to some unknown reasons, the couple parted ways. Sushmita was an established actor when she got involved with Randeep Huda. However, like her other affairs, her relationship with Randeep didn't last long and both mutually called it off. After leaving Randeep, Sushmita was still open for a relationship and very soon, Randeep's place was filled by ad man Manav Menon. She met him when she was shooting for an advertisement. Manav directed the first Kia Creations commercial for Sushmita. She was much in love with Manav that she wanted Manav to direct a film called Rani Lakshmi Bai to be produced by her. Sush even dated writer turned filmmaker Mudassar Aziz. He is the director of Dulha Mil Gaya. The romance started while shooting the film in which Sushmita played the female lead. Once again, when everyone thought that Sushmita is single, Bunty Sachdeva, who handles celebrity endorsements, came into the picture. She surprised everyone when she walked hand in hand with him at Atul Kalpikar's party. The actor was also linked to Anil Ambani. In fact, her daughter Rene is rumoured to be Anil Ambani's daughter. There was a buzz in B-Town that Sushmita Sen and Pakistani cricket legend Vaseem Akram were tying the knot. False rumours, we say. What do you want to say about beautiful Sushmita Sen and her controversial love affairs? Write your comments. Do click on the like button and subscribe our channel to watch more. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.